Hi there, welcome to the channel. Um, today I'm gonna make a special video uh, regarding the, the roll hoops of uh, Nanda S2000. Uh, it's a common problem and there are a lot of different opinions out there in the web. Uh, some glue it and uh, other uh, weld it and that's what I'm going to do because uh, after making some searches um, they weld it in a factory, so the, the roll hoops here, they are not clamped together. It's a one piece. Here inside there's a, the roll hoop that you can see here. And um, so with time, and I believe that uh, this, uh, this roof has been changed at some point in time, and a common mistake that, that the guys make in, uh, in, uh, in the workshops is that they try to open the, the roll hoops to make some space or they put pressure here or they lean their body here uh, and so they make some pressure and it's uh, it, it cracks open so this one was a little bit open and someday opening the roof uh, the roof uh, held it here and uh, pulled it back so it's finally open and it opened uh, the, the other one over there so to make it short uh, I'm gonna unmount it and as you can see inside the, the the front part of the roll hoop there's a, a metal insert here so this metal insert uh, works as a resistance resistancy so they grab on the bottom on each side a positive and negative um, current a 12 volt will do so with a car, a car charger a battery charger uh, it will do normally so you hold it there you can clamp it together and uh, you apply the electricity and you leave it maybe for 10 uh, 15 seconds uh, normally you will start to see some smoke appearing uh, a little bit of smoke which is normal that's meaning that the the plastic are starting to to melt and to melt together so i'm gonna unmount that there's uh, different several parts you need to unmount. You need to unmount the the back of the seat here, um, the glove box, and there's a part that uh, you access from the from the trunk. Okay, so first put the seat in the upward position, and then you remove the. It's an eight bolt here. Remove the two hooks here, so. This liberates the this plate. Okay, so this is how it looks when you remove the plate here, the back plate. So it's only clamped. So you remove the two screws, one here, one here, where the hooks are, and you pull them, and then you just pull the plate, and uh, it's just clamped, plastic clamps here. So now you remove. You have to remove the glove box. So there's a screw inside here and uh, so that's the secret compartment on the S2000 there's a, a small lever here that you pull up and there's a glove box the screws so they are one in front one in the back as you can see there four four screws so you also need to disconnect the you also need to disconnect the the hood button it's only clipped so you push that down and you pull so that goes out then so you remove the screw inside it's gone then you have to uh, just pull gently here and it will go off and there are two more screws down there so you have to do exactly the same thing on the passenger side remove the plate here this one with the two hooks out and the plate is only clamped so you pull gently and it will go out so now you have all the all the glove box uh, just pull aside so I'm gonna leave it here because uh, I don't need uh, more room for that so as you can see the roll hoop is fixed now we see the two bottom screws there are also two screws here in the middle uh, these four bolts here that you see are also uh, holding 
the the roll hoop in the back side. So you remove those full bolts and those full bolts here and the roll hoop will uh, go out. You have to unscrew the the seat belt hold here. Okay, there are also two screws here. One here. So this is the place. There's one here that holds th these two pieces together. And there's another one that goes here. Also, in the back, there's all this plate has to go out. And there are two screws where you access on the other side. So you have to have the, the roof closed to have uh, enough space to pass your hand and remove the screw. Okay, so another thing that you have to, you have to do is you have to unclamp the back side of the roll hoop here is clamped here and you can see the the clamp here in the back there it is so I have one out I show you they work like that the center piece here hold the the exterior pieces out so hold it in place so the ideal here is from the inside to push this part out and then you can remove the the clamp there's two there's one on each side one here and one on the opposite side so now the the row hoop is completely unmounted so as you can see it moves but it's still held in place by the plastic cover that goes all the way back. And by the way, those screws here, uh, those nuts, you don't need to touch them because they are uh, the parts where normally you will um, clip your roof cover. There's um, two on each side. So you don't need to, you don't need to touch that. So here's the bar inside of, of the row hoop. So I held it here. Mm, these are the two parts. That's the back, the back part, uh, the front part, sorry, of the row. And that's the back cover. Okay, so as I explained earlier, they are held together with this wire that is connected to a, a battery charger or uh, a, tw a 12 volt current okay so it's it will make like a resistance and and heat up and it will weld two plastics together and there's also inside the the headrest here the opening of the headrest there's also uh, a metal wire all around so this is what's welding the parts together somebody already tried to glue them together so there's a a lot of uh, glue around so i will first clean this to make as more as more room as possible and uh, also try to avoid uh, contamination on the welding okay so here's the setup i have the the covers front and back clamped together I missed one clamp, so I use some printing type here. Um, here, there's a, the, a bit of cable from the outer cable. Okay, so the the minus is connected here. I have a, a fully automatic charger, so the problem is that if it's not detecting the resistance of the battery, it will not send current, okay? So if you have not an automatic, it will be easier. Mine is automatic, so I connect it to a battery. Then I used uh, cables. It's, uh, I think it's one point, one millimeter thickness of cable. So the minus is here and the plus is there. And 
you apply you apply the current with the with the plus here there's a, a bit of cable I connected like 10 to 15 minutes to 15 seconds 20 seconds it depends when you start to feel that it it has heated up I will do it like two three times so I'm sure that the cable is warm enough and it well and it welded and then I will do the same on the inner one there you go now you see the smoke so there's some smoke all, all over here as well on top so that's that's how they they mount it in the, in the factory it's a little bit strange but they did it that way i believe for for resistance purpose anyway i'll do the the inner so i show you the the inner part of the roll hoop this time i'm going to weld this joint the inside the inner joint here i've uh, pulled two pieces uh, each extremity of the cable out of the of the of the rail that goes all around and i clamped the positive and the negative so now the positive is disconnected from the battery and i will i will connect it and it will start smoking pretty pretty quickly So I have to leave it a few seconds. Because the, the electricity has to the electricity has to go from one extremity to the other. So they're starting to eat every extremity until they join. And that's where the wire will be the hottest. As you can see here, there's some smoke going out, which is normal. We are welding plastic, so it's already warm. It's warm, it's warm, it's warm. It's pretty warm already. As you can see, there are some smoke going out. So now the I removed the clamps, I let it cool for like five minutes or so and i i've removed the clamps and uh, it's looking good it looks like the the material has correctly welded together pretty happy with the result uh much much better than gluey than gluing the two surfaces because uh i don't know what kind of material is it exactly but uh, it looks like the the glue is not working very well and also it's making a, a mess here on the joints you can see all the glue and everything so this is a a way more cleaner to do uh, a way more cleaner way to do it much more cleaner way to do it sorry for my english and the result is uh, as a factory so as you can see the passenger side is uh, mounted again it's perfectly welded all around so now I'm doing the the driver's side as I showed you so if you see some smoke that's uh, good news okay leave it uh, for a few seconds don't don't uh, disconnect it too too soon you need to to feel that the area is getting warmer and warmer and uh, almost burning your fingers and then you disconnect it 
let it cool for a few minutes and and then you can mount it again and it's strongly it is strongly mounted now strongly welded until the next time it opens up i believe and i hope it will be at the later the latest the, the better so thanks for watching i hope uh, this uh uh different i say different tutorial will help you um i know a lot of uh, s2000 owners have this problem and uh, it's a very common problem on on the s2000 so thanks for watching uh if you like the video like subscribe uh don't mind if you share my video on your different forums uh i know there's a lot of owners in uh, in the united states as well and I made this video in English. My, my born language is French or Spanish, but uh, I make this video in English so everyone can understand it. And uh, hope I kept it as easy as possible for you. If you have any question, uh, just leave a comment down below and I will answer as soon as I can. And uh, take care. Bye bye.